Bye, Mochi. We're going to the thrift store. You can't come because they don't let bow dogs in thrift stores. Hi, Bo. <laughs> Oh, what is right. going on guys? Welcome to another Rally Roots episode. I am Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. So in this episode, we're getting back to our roots. Yeah. Pun intended. <laughs> oh, so funny. So we haven't been thrifting in a while and I know a lot of you guys started watching our channel because you liked our thrift haul videos. So we figured today we would go hit some thrift stores to see what we could find to resell on eBay and Amazon. Today is half off at Salvation Army, but what we're gonna try and do is go to all the non-Salvation Army thrift stores in different exactly. areas. So there's a couple of Goodwills and a lighthouse. So we're gonna try those and see if we do better because not as many people are going to be there. So yeah guys, this is gonna be a classic Rally Roots thrift vlog. Join us, let's go and have some fun. Right now. Right now, let's go. Stop number one, this lighthouse family store. This one's kind of hit or miss for us, so we'll see what's in there. Sometimes the prices are high, sometimes they're good, but you never know till you go look. You, is that bright? <laughs> What was the name of the store? Marlin something? Marlin's Market? Yeah. Marlin's Market. Shout out Marlin's Market for the sunglasses. <laughs> These are cool, but they're $20. So, leave them? Yeah. I am going to pick up these Bontrager Ooh. Race Road shoes, though. They're only 5 bucks. $17.97. What a deal. Thank oh, you guys so much. Have a good one. Picked up a couple things in there. It was kind of hard to film because the music's so loud in that store. So loud. So we'll show you what we got. We'll talk about what we got in the car real quick. So we ended up spending like 17 18 bucks, something like that. $17.50 for five items at that thrift store. Mm -hmm. We got three shirts, a costume item, or like a cosplay item. Oops and some shoes. The first shirt we got was just a Levi's metal button red tab vintage short sleeve button down shirt. Typically we get like 25 bucks for those, so yeah. pretty good deal there. The second item we got was a Wrangler long sleeve shirt, also vintage, Wrangler Western wear. Very America. Very America, and the reason why we picked that up, I think we paid like, I think we paid six bucks for it, which is kind of high, but we just sold a similar looking one that went overseas. We sold it for like $29. So I figured it was probably a good deal. And then of course we always pick up master stuff, especially the Augusta shop. Masters, masters on masters. Masters on masters on masters. <laughs> Um, but so yeah, always look out for that little master's logo. It'll usually be embroidered right on the front of the shirt And there's a bunch of different brands that have licensed the master's logo to put it on their shirt So just because the label or the tag of the shirt doesn't say masters doesn't mean that it's not a master's item You got to look for the embroidery on the actual shirt and that one will probably get around I think we've been getting around like 25 to 30 bucks for those depending on the size because it's golf season yeah, people are out golfing. Or they will be coming up as it gets cooler. More people start hitting the links. Yeah. <laughs> That's what golfers say, right? Hitting I the, don't know. The links. I've never hit a link. <laughs> And then shoes, we picked up these Bontrager cycling shoes and they have the little clips on the bottom. These ones are Shimano clips, SMSH51, little Shimano clips. But the cool thing about cycling shoes is usually on the inside of the shoe, there will be a little tag or a little label that'll give you the model number. And you can literally just go on eBay, type that model number in and look at what's sold. Always look for model numbers when you're looking up comps because more clothes than you would think have model numbers. For sure. So these ones are Bontrager race road they're in very very good condition they haven't really been used that much usually like the toes are all scuffed up and stuff you know yeah so I would say we paid five dollars for these shoes I would say we'll probably get right around 40 bucks for them pretty good deal there and then Allison picked up what <laughs> Assassin's Creed jackets. I can literally make an entire cosplay around Assassin's Creed now. That's so funny. It fits you so well, too. It looked pretty good on you. It was my size. That's awesome. I think I called that, too. I said it was Assassin's Creed. You weren't sure. I wasn't sure because I didn't know what it looked like on me. Oh, that's right. That's right. I had right. no idea. And then you showed me and I was like, oh, definitely. <laughs> so are you keeping that or selling that? Keep. Keep first and then sell or just keep? Sell later. Sell later. Okay. When you sell it, how much do you think it'll sell for? Well, new, they're right now going for $30, so I don't know, but. Like 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks? Maybe $20. It might, be like, it. It might be like a keep it forever then item. Because yeah. what'd you pay for it? Or they might stop making them and everybody wants them. Oh, true, yeah. true, true. And what'd you pay for it, like two bucks? Like dollar and 50 cents. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Sometimes you find stuff for yourself. <laughs> Oops. 
So that's what we got at that stop. We are behind Goodwill right now. So we're gonna run into this Goodwill. This one is also hit and miss for us. The prices are very high. Super expensive, this Goodwill. But if we find something in there, we'll show you guys. Yeah. All right, onto the Goodwill. Looking, 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 looking. No, no. Oh, Vineyard Vines. Yeah, Vineyard Vines is pretty good. How much are you? $4.98, pretty good. These dress shirts usually sell for us around like 25 to 27 dollars and this one looks pretty good cool a cool button up sweet how much are you 4.98 as well nice shirt here guys these sell very well for us if you ever find these look out for them just make sure that they're clean that's what the logo looks like pick these up if you find them guys you're like 30 dollars shirts oh snap is that loud mouth it looks like loud mouth yep there's the pattern right there. Nice camo shorts. These are probably good for like 40, 45 bucks. Nice. I think I'm gonna buy this Tennessee Titans jacket. It's pretty nice. It is new with tags. So that's cool. It is $10, but usually we get like 40 to 50 bucks for these things. Eight bucks for the Giorgio Armani made in Italy. I think that's pretty good. Hidden buttons should be able to get like 40 bucks for this. Check this out guys. New with tags. Bam. Go home Goodwill, you're drunk. Oh, hey. What's that, Athleta? Athleta. One, two, two more. Three, three, four, four. What do they have them priced at? Yes. Five bucks each? Nice. Bring it. <laughs> $59.30 spent on nine items. Two stops done one left to go but in the meantime it's time to feed alley <laughs> oh a little hashtag feed alley action <laughs> all right to the zaxby's that's right we're cheating on you chick-fil-a that's what you get for being jerks <laughs> nom 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 all right last stop of the day is gonna be this goodwill we've actually found some really good stuff here before last time we were here we found these cool like 1990s uh, meatloaf concert t-shirts. That's right. Yeah, and both of those sold for like over 40 bucks each. So yeah. sometimes this one has some good stuff. You never know. You never know. Let's go see. Let's look at the shoes. Oh, I spot some. Those look like Cole Hans. Cole Hans wingtip shoes. Yeah, the, the Grand OS ones. Nice wingtips. How much are you guys? Eight bucks. That's good. We usually got like 40 to 45 bucks for these shoes. Some Tigers, some Anasuka Tiger Asics shoes. These are pretty good. These are like the suede and leather ones, so look pretty good. And usually we get like 40 bucks for these. There should be a model number in here. D62LL, yeah. Oh, the yeah. back too. Oh, that's cool. I would say buy that. How much is it? I just don't need one more thing. Four bucks. That's cool though. Looking, no off funny. Tommy Lama. Tommy got home for your mama. It's a relaxed shirt. I think this is one of the 100% linen ones. Looks like it's in good condition. How much are you? Five bucks, that's good. We usually get like 25, and it is the 100% linen, nice. What do you think? This one's, this one's 10, but the back. Oh, that's cool. Tommy Bahama Mix Masters. Okay. I'm gonna say no on it then, because the comps are in like like 25 to 30. It? Yeah, I know. Put it back. It's a super cool pattern, man. Huh? It's such a cool pattern. It's Columbia. It's cool. It's $5. I don't know. It's a cool pattern. It's like a fly fishing pattern. This is cool. Grayson. Never heard of the brand, but it's like super quality. And it is how much are you? Four fifty. Look at the little it's got like a wolf. Wolf in the back. Ooh. It's nice, right? I'm pretty sure it's probably like in the thirties. That's cool. Allison found my favorite whiskey dram. Oh, you found another one. Found a pair. Two of them. Open. <laughs> That's cool. Can I see something in the case quick? Sure. Thank you. This camera. Oh, okay. Camera's in there. Okay, we spent $54.21, but one of these things, that thing that's $12.96, that's a gift. So really, we spent right around $40 for everything. You thirsty, babe? <laughs> Is that good or I'll just, we'll just wait for you. Is that nice? One more second. Okay. Good? You good? You done? 
<laughs> All right, guys, like I said, that was our last stop of the day. We spent like 40 bucks or so there, got some good stuff. Try to show you everything that we got in the store, so hopefully you were able to see that stuff from the video. I think it was a pretty decent day. Three stores, spent over $100, should make some decent money. I was really picky, so I didn't find things that I thought there was enough profit to be worth our time. It's better to be picky sometimes, though. Oh, yeah. Especially, I would say, when you're just starting out. Like, if you're just starting out, getting into buying stuff from thrift stores, it's much better to be picky, I think. Go for those items that are $25, $30, $40 plus. Don't yeah. really go for those, like, lower-end items. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, our Back to Our Roots kind of video. <laughs> If you did, please leave a comment, leave a like, pound subscribe it. to our channel. Boop, pound it, we're Rally Roots. Yeah, you know, there's not a pound it either left or right. So there's no like and dislike, it's just pound it left or right. Oh, I know. That would be so great. But thank you guys, we appreciate you. Thank you for everybody who's like stuck with us throughout the years. Years? Well, we're almost, almost at- year too. I think in October we'll be on YouTube for two years, so. Yeah, and I know that a lot of you guys have been watching all of our videos, so thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace. Bye.